In this show, you can join in the action from home. Download the Poker Play Along app from your app provider. They say fortune favours the brave. Here on the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, we like to test that theory. I'm not going to the cage. Now, I'll send at least two people, but I'm not going to the cage. Not cool. Yeah! What? Come on! <laughs> so far in Heat 1, we've seen the original online qualifier eat his words. Uh... Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. And an underdog hold her own against the pros. Yes, baby! Good job. While Daniel Negreanu is in cruise control. Is there a bathroom in that shark cage? Because I got so many chips, I might just come so I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. Busting two players to take the chip lead. To be honest, I don't think people are going to try to send me to the cage. I have pretty good radar, so it's probably not the best approach for them. Can Kid Poker book his seat at the final table? Or will he suffer the curse of the cage? Welcome back to the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas, where Heat 1 is well underway. We started with six, and now four players remain, competing for a slice of the million-dollar prize pool. This heat marks Daniel Negreanu's debut on the show. And so far, Kid Poker has total control of this table. Well, I think momentum, confidence, feeling good about your chance of winning, that's always the way I look at life. I'm a big believer in what you manifest in your mind, you create, and so I'm looking for the number one prize. I have never seen Daniel make a big mistake. He's playing very good. Poker's best haircut and reigning World Series Player of the Year, George Danza, is second in chips. I'm really comfortable. If somebody is bluffing and something is wrong, I just know it. I feel confident that I can win this tournament. Online qualifier Johanna Yakli is battling with her confidence after an early misstep. Four, oh, four house? Oh, I didn't see the seven. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't see the full house. How could I not have seen the full house? I was just confused. Okay, this is where the amateur bit comes out. Oh, please don't show this hand. <laughs> don't show this hand in the... I think I have trips. It's like super, super embarrassing amateur mistake. Of course, I want to win the tournament. And, like, not making mistakes like that, that's part of it. Also struggling to hold his own is Spanish golfing sensation Sergio Garcia. In spite of that early cage coup, Come on. Sergio's feeling the pressure swimming with the Sharks. It's not easy to play against those kind of guys. They're so good and it's difficult to read them. You're a little bit nervous, you're playing with professionals, you're maybe a little bit of your comfort level. Maybe I have to change my game plan a little bit. So far, the cream has risen to the top. Can our two amateurs fight back against the pros? And a reminder that you can play along at home. You'll need to make a decision imminently. I knocked out everybody so far, right? But no bounties. No bounties. He's got the special prize. Mm -hmm. Special prize makes it sound way creepier than it really is. It's worth two grand. You get a bluff bonus for sending someone to the cage. You have a lot. She has a lot. Sergio has the rest. I don't have much. <laughs> <laughs> I have what I have. <laughs> How much is the big one? 24. Try to stay with us, Danzer. Jeez, this guy's World Series of Poker Player of the Year. Are you serious? I'll pay him. George has raised with ace-queen. Daniel has called with king-queen. Yo, Hannah Montana's getting some odds, but much like a bunch of bros at a bachelor party, she's gonna want to see some clubs. Decision now on Sergio, who's been known to take his time. He's got ace-nine. He's got an ace. How many aces are in this deck? Still four? Seems like more than four. Sergio's also getting some pot odds, but he could be thinking about three-betting. As time's running out, remember the shot clock gives you 30 seconds per decision. Well, that time bank chip gives Sergio an additional 30 seconds. 
Sure is taking his sweet time with it. And he's the shortest stack at the table. If he jams, he is gonna get looked up by George, and he has dominated. 15 seconds. 10. Hold in. Hold in. He is elected to shove. Decision now on Danza. With all this action, it's possible George might fold, but no. This move looks super strong, but yeah, still no. George's clock is running. Ace Queen just way too strong in this format. Four-handed, relatively fast structure. Five seconds, George. And he's playing a time bank chip. He has got two players to act behind him that might be weighing on his mind. Is Sergio actually going to get away with this? Possibly. Yes, George folds. Oh, man, he did it. Daniel passes, and Johanna folds as well. <laughs> Head king queen. I don't know if that helps you or hurts you. That would be a good time to show, huh? Sergio. I think it was king, behind. queen, and ace queen. Then you were probably behind. Oof. He's like, wow. <laughs> I was way behind. <laughs> ace nine. You're ahead of me. Whoa. Nice play. Wow. It's the right move. Go for it. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it next time with ace nine, huh? <laughs> Which but means you are going to do it next but time. Really know, you really need that. Yep, good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, George Danzer is so salty. Okay, I won't try that again. <laughs> <laughs> you should try. Never give up. I'm going to try, and Daniel's going to try too. We're all going to try. 24? 54. George still doesn't know the blinds? Are you serious? Daniel is raised with a pair of eights. Johanna has a pair of queens. She re-raises. You do have calls? I think I might have, actually. Uh, that hand's old news. But how would I knew how strong you are? No, oh. right, of course. <laughs> yeah. If I'm there, you know. New hand now, people. I pay, George obviously. Daniel calls the re-raise. These two players going to the flop. Check. So they both have over pairs to the board. Johanna's still way ahead. Nice bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, seriously, let it go. Call. A bet and a call. A six on the turn. Check. Daniel now has a straight draw. Johanna elects not to bet, and that means the cage comes into play as we go to the river. Which doesn't help Daniel. Oh, my first time using one of these cards. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> one says bluff, one says value. Daniel will declare the intention of his river bet. 225. He's betting for value. When Johanna checks the turn, he's going to think he has the best hand a lot. He doesn't. The strength of her hand is pretty disguised. This should be a call. That's my neighborhood. I like this the little cards. Exactly. This is so your board, right? I love the little cards. It's my I favorite. Know. And you know that. I know that. Because you focus, you But you studied. know that I know that. I'm going to call. Good call. Value. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, I, was dead. I was so happy she called. <laughs> oh. Good hand. Oh, I just thought, this is so your straight evil. Yeah, it was like, close. The five would have been juicy because you'd have to call. Good thing that this didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was so happy to see the eights. 
Not the value card, huh? Yeah. Oh, by the way, sorry for celebrating. Usually I don't do this, oh, but, I in like this it. but in this format, I'd like you to I mean, celebrate. here we are allowed to celebrate, right? Why like, wouldn't but you? normally I, I never. Normally I like you to like celebrate normal. whether you win or you I lose. Usually at home eight when she thousand. plays online and she wins hands, she goes like um, this. Eight yeah. <laughs> so, Johanna the qualifier is now chip leader. I only started playing two years ago. I was so fascinated by the game, and I'd been pestering all my friends to play poker with me. They kept saying, poker? No. So then I decided I just have to do it on my own. I just have to go out there and play. I read books and talked to people. George Danzer, he's my favorite role model. Johanna got my email from a guy we both know. I emailed George to ask if he knew anybody in Berlin who could do some coaching with me. Wrote her back and gave her a couple of hints. It looks like she got the hang of it. I think I'm a good player on the way to becoming a great player. If I put in all the work and if I consequently become better and better and better, I will reach the top. It's up to me. While you could be joining your favorite pros in the Bahamas, you can qualify for the next PCA at PokerStars.com. Don't forget you can join in the action from home. Make sure you download the Poker Play Along app. Here on the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, it's our online qualifier who's currently the chip leader after winning a big pot against Kid Poker. Playing with Daniel's great because obviously he's one of the best in the world and he's a lot of fun because he's constantly chatting. So you're really good. You make money at poker, huh? My lord told me not to say it. <laughs> yes! Oh, I said that out loud. Um, who am I gonna drink with now? You. Where's the wine list? You wanna taste yes. it? Yes. Does that taste like water? It tastes like water. No, it's, it's a vodka water. <laughs> Winning a hand against a world-class player, it's just fantastic. Pair of eights. Yes, wow. baby! Okay. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Good hand. Having played with all these great players now, I realized, hey, I really have a chance. Yay, Johanna! I'm yumping for Yoy! Well, I hope you've downloaded the app and are enjoying playing along at home. There's more Play Along a Poker fun coming your way. Looks like our qualifier has folded. 50. Sergio's raising. Seems a little unsure about it. Okay. He finds a customer in Daniel. Finally! Yeah! I'm hang with you! Is this the first one? Yeah! Okay. I guess this means a lot more to Sergio than it does to Daniel. Jack check. Cards. Daniel has the best hand with a pair of jacks. You're not going to check. You're going to bet. You're going to bet 75. I wonder what Daniel tries to accomplish when he's doing this. Is that what you're thinking? No. Sergio checks behind. Is that what Daniel wanted? Check. Now you bet 75. No, he's the one back. We're going to the river, which means the cage is in play. Check. Sergio now has the best hand with a pair of kings. Gotta bet this. Daniel loves calling. I'm gonna bet. Which card are you putting out? <laughs> It's the value card. Um, 80,000. More than 75. 80, Just to spite you. I'm not going to that freaking thing. <laughs> no, I'm not going over there. For 80,000, it's worth not going in there. Thank you. You Sorry. hit a king, right? It's value. Yeah, king? Yeah. You got it. I had the jack. Thank you. Translation, nice river fish. It's coming soon. <laughs> hey, all in. He's getting to that. The driver's point. coming. <laughs> Let me shine it up a little bit. <laughs> I started playing poker 2008. 
play a little bit with some friends, and then I play a little TV event they made in Spain. I won that little event. That got me the possibility of playing in Estrella's Poker Tour in Madrid, and did quite well there and enjoyed it. And then I started playing a little bit more often. Obviously, not as much as I would like to because I'm still playing golf full time. <laughs> I definitely enjoy the thrill of it, the mental aspect of it, which is, I guess, a little bit similar to golf. It's very important to be very patient, to kind of forget your mistakes, the hands that you lose. I think when it comes down to poker, for me, it's, you know, some big hands when you're doing an all-in or something like that. That's when you know you're putting your tournament on the line and if you don't win that hand, then well, you're gonna go home. There's always some hands that gets your adrenaline pumping, which, uh, which I love. Yeah, you know those adrenaline junkies always out golfing. Who's the slowest player on tour? No. Are you putting me in the spot? Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you later. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, Hannah has raised. Sergio has a pair of nines. Sergio, run better, guy. Did someone say something about slow acting golf players <laughs> 10 seconds he's been pretty aggressive I think maybe he goes for it here five seconds just in time a re-race went for it is George gonna play what are you gonna fold days Queen again George huh gonna fold days Queen both he and Daniel pass Sergio, if I find out later on the video <laughs> that you have been messing with me, I will come visit you <laughs> to she tell you off. I mean, you've <laughs> seen me play. I'm tighter than Daniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I just want to text Johanna Sergio's address. Don't worry, I was way in front. <laughs> oh, come on. Now I know that I was ahead. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel the Swiss alliance with you, you know? Where's the love? Where's the love? Oh, yeah, okay. Where is the uh, love I fall? Uh, Swiss alliance, lol. George has ace jack on the button. He has raised. Okay, I pet. And Daniel is calling. Some of those little cards he was talking about liking, and he's gonna really like those since they're suited. Talking of suited, Johanna has ace queen of hearts. A three bet here would be pretty sweet. She has re raised. Yep. George has folded. Poor guy can't even see a flop. I pay. Daniel calls. He also described what it's like for him when we go to dinner. Wow. Check. Daniel has a straight and a straight flush draw. Johanna has the nut flush draw. Hachi machi, this is so dirty. She bets. She can still catch up with most hearts, but the three or eight of hearts would be dirtier than an escalator railing. Okay. Daniel has called. The turn card is an ace. Check. Johanna now has a pair. Daniel still has the best hand. He's a nine to one favorite. She's going to think she has the best hand here, and she would a lot of the time. She bets again. Does Daniel raise now? Yep. Five, five hundred. Three more. He's giving her a really sick price too. I'm all in. All in I call. Man. An all in and a call. I have it. Yikes. Four She's a flush draw hearts. too? Four or five oh. of hearts for Eight of hearts for her. Sick hand, huh? Sick indeed. Wow, what a flop. Good luck. Johanna has four outs. She needs the non four or eight of hearts. Heart. Daniel, you have the four of hearts. If Johanna loses this, she will be crippled. That doesn't help her. Well, I know where her heart is. It's on her sleeve. That was very unlucky. 
Wow, what a hand. Yeah. Guard Daniel's address. I lost a lot of chips in that hand, and I had so many chips before that. That was also so aggravating. If I had won that hand, I would have been in a fantastic situation to go on to win. She didn't do anything wrong in the hand. She's just really unlucky. I'm all in. I call. When he calls and says, I've got it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, OK, damn it, straight. On the other hand, I mean, I have five million outs. She needs the non four or eight of hearts. You could tell when she lost that pot, she felt she was gutted. Catching the ace first and having the flush draw, Nothing she could do differently. I think we both played correctly, and one of us lost, and unfortunately, it was me. Really sucks when you miss your five million outers. She's now the short stack. Daniel is the chip leader. Action here is on Sergio, and he's folded. George has queen four of diamonds here. He's in position. He's raced. Daniel has called with a pair of sevens. Cool. Yeah, we got that. Ace queen for Johanna. Sorry, guys. All it's okay. in. All in. No, that's okay. All in, it's more than okay. It's the right move. We're probably. Cool. How much is it? Three fifty. Yeah, I call. I call. Three eight, three eighty, or something like that. Call. We're off to the races. Pair of sevens. Ooh, yeah. Good luck. Okay, yeah. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, I, 50, 50. I know, I know. You deserve I this one. Up. I beat you last time. I don't it's want to beat you so this time. Nice. The seven irons are good. Yeah, seven <laughs> irons. It's a good club for me. Good luck. Don't cry. Did the right thing. Sometimes you just gotta flip for it. No help for Johanna on the flop. Everyone wants Johanna to win, even Daniel. He spied a fellow Canadian on the rail. Hey. <laughs> Mike McDonald. I'm in a big flip. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Elimination looming for Johanna. One more card. Give the lady a queen. Give the queen a queen. I promise you I'll be okay with it. It's fine. Go ahead. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> she needs an ace or a queen. She's out. Applause, sorry. I am very, very sad for Johanna. I'm sorry, you played really well. You didn't deserve that. She was really enjoying herself, and you know what? You played good, very aggressive. I like so it. So was I. Okay. Gracias. Playing with George Danzer and Daniel was great. Best ever. I just wish I had had more time. On the whole, I think I'm a good player, but in some ways, I'm still not very good. But I so much want to improve. How great would it be to play with people like that in the future? I would so love to do it again. That's the feeling that stays. We're down to just three players at the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. And it's Daniel Negreanu who's been doing all the damage. I hate this guy. <laughs> he gets me on the rivers every time. Take care. Well played. Played good, very aggressive, I like it. For almost two decades, Kid Poker has maintained his position as one of the greatest players in the game, and he shows no signs of letting up. Well, in 2014, I did turn 40 years old, which made me eligible for the World Series of Poker Hall of Fame, and I was inducted on my first ballot. Also had my biggest score ever in the one drop, cashing for a little over $8 million and regaining the number one spot on the all-time money list. So yeah, 2014 was a good year. And right now, Daniel has the monster chip lead. How much you got there? I got a lot. <laughs> like three and a half. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we're down to three. Sadly, the cage is no longer in play. I'm the only one with one of these. A PGA title? No, nah, he's actually the only one with a 2K bluff bonus chip. You can't team up against me. 90. Playing me now. No position. It's muy importante. See? Oh, don't tell him. 
You have the position, right? Mm. Don't waste it. Use it. I think, I think it's driver, an advantage for you. I think the driver's coming out. Yeah. The driver? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to use the driver. You can lay up. You can lay up once in your life, Sergio. <laughs> you can lay up one time. Don't tin cup every time. All in, all in. Like driver style. Use a three wood sometimes. Keep it in the fairway. No. Okay, see? In three the wood. fairway. Three wood. <laughs> lay up. He's gonna lay up? Lay up. <laughs> Daniel beat me to the tin cup references. Unreal. Sergio has a pair of eights. Daniel ahead with a pair of jacks. Check, check. Daniel now a nine to one favorite. And not checking again. Interesting-ish spot for Sergio. I'd say typically you should stick around with a pair, but Daniel really doesn't bluff that often. Once again, time is running out for Sergio. Call. We're going to the river. Which doesn't help Sergio. Daniel. Betting again. What I want to know is how does he know he can value bet this? What's that, Sergio? Huh? Hit something, but I lose with so many hands. Fold. Good fall. See, if you hit driver before the flop, you'd be out of the tournament. You said fold. Yeah. Yeah. If you hit driver, you would be out. No good. No good. I know. I got to imagine. You would have been out. If you hit the driver, you laid up, and now you still have a chance to, you know, compete in the tournament. To play the next hole. See, I'm already coaching you on your golf game. <laughs> I laid up, but still have a chance to play the next hole. Yes, exactly, <laughs> right? But if you would have hit it OB or, or put it in the water, you finished. Well, you can always bury the next hole. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Colin. Forget what I just said. That was rather fast. He squeezed one last bet out of Georgie, and now he wants to protect his hand. How much? Well, George Cole with just two over cards to the board. I think this is one of the worst hands he would consider calling with. Five seconds. He faults. Risky move by Sergio. I don't think he's going to fold out better too often. But he's still alive. Don't get, don't get afraid when I go all in, huh? <laughs> don't get scared. These guys aren't scared. I'm all in. Daniel shoving on Sergio. I hope so. <laughs> I'm calling. You're all in. And I'm raising you. I have a very bad hand. One. Okay. At this moment, I have a very bad hand. But Let's anything can happen. That's my good one. That's my bad one. That's my, that's my good one. Oh, no. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to show <laughs> was the queen. Pretty tough for Sergio to have a queen and have it be a worse hand than queen four. All yeah. I need is a four? Yeah. <laughs> All I need Been in worse shape is a before. four. <laughs> you can give me a king after that. <laughs> <laughs> or do three, five. Let's have some fun with the flop. Sergio's ahead, but at risk. So far, so good. There's two hearts there. <laughs> I'll take a 10. I don't even want the queen or the king. I wouldn't mind the 10. Yeah, it gives you out. Yes, it's for a draw. For a... Same out. Daniel still just really wants a four. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Lip out. <laughs> Flip out. <laughs> Sergio survives unless there's a four on the river. Double up. How much money? Not a lot. I can afford it. Five ninety. Five ninety. Uh, yeah. I'll six. You give me ten. Yes. <laughs> Woo I got whites. <laughs> Grow. Let's put some water on them. <laughs> Is that a joke about Daniel's hair? Sergio may have doubled up. But he's still the low man at the table. Blinds are 30,000 and 60,000. King nine for George. That's a race. That's a fold. Jack 10 for Sergio. Come on, just call. And call he does. Cheeky. The flop gives George a pair of kings and Sergio a pair of tens. Sergio's got another not top pair. If he makes the same check shove this time around, he's going to get snapped off. There's a bet from George. And there's the all-in from Sergio. Uh-oh. Cool. King nine for George. Uh -oh. It is headed for the rough. OK, a lot of fun cards for the turn. <laughs> uh, I always want the fun. Yeah, I like the fun. Sergio at risk and behind. You can still win. Yeah, George is <laughs> wow. Many ways. Yeah, I mean. That's not the card you needed. Nope. Ten or a jack. You calling me too, huh? Barely. The river is a four. We lose Sergio. You have him covered? Let's have a hand for Sergio. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, one man. I think so. We can double check. <laughs> that was fun. All right, buddy. Good one. So you remember the name I told you, right? The moon bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'll yeah, see you well, there after. Hopefully, uh, we can make it down. Okay. He'll meet you on the ninth green at nine, okay? And now we are down to two. I told you I had a feeling. Uh, it might be you and me. Uh, yeah. I hope you had fun. Thank you. I hope you had fun. Yeah, that was great. Thank you.
thought it was a great experience. I thought it was fun to play. What? He turned the card and said bluff. I was like, <laughs> what? That's come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can say I, I want a hand from Chris Moneymaker. It was nice to say him to the cage. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I enjoyed that moment very much. When we got three-handed, you know, I tried to be fairly aggressive. I tried to pick my spots. I thought the last hand I was good for it. All in, raise. Call. Call. Sergio's got a 10 and a jack. Unfortunately, he had the king, and I didn't hit anything else. I leave feeling quite good about the way I played. I think that overall, I could have played a couple hands maybe a little bit better. But not being a pro, I think I, I did OK. Where heads up. And it's poker's all-time money winner versus the 2014 World Series Player of the Year. So who do you think is going through to the final? Two remain in the PokerStars.com shark cage. We've got George and Daniel. Congratulations on making heads up, guys. They're playing for the first seat at the final table. I just had this feeling him and I were going to get heads up. Good luck, sir. I have a, a good idea of how he's going to play. When you get good cards, put your chips. If you don't have good cards, don't play. I've been doing it for 20 years. He isn't crazy aggressive and ships it in all the time. That makes it really hard to play against. It works, simple. He likes to play small pots, likes to play carefully, so it could be a long match. I'm underdog in chips right now, but I still feel confident that I can win the heads-up match. Tricky Scarfy versus Kid Poker. And Daniel has a small chip lead over George. Look at his hair, doesn't it look painful? He's got Ace Jack of Hearts. He raises. Daniel with queen five offsuit. Yep, probably got a call, heads up. He does call. Well, George is way ahead. Ace high and the nut flush draw. George is gonna continue and he is gonna like it. Not much for Daniel to be excited about. Oh, he raises. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> that is the fifth hardest any German has ever laughed. George has to like this. He calls the raise and we're going to the turn. George now a 91% favorite. Daniel's not going to raise a king very often, and it's even less likely he's got one when this one hits, but George still can't bet here. Check, check. Well, Daniel pairs his five on the river, but it's the five of hearts. And that's a flush for George. Daniel hits it small. Georgie hits it big. Daniel checks. Hold me closer, Georgie Danzer. Take me down to Value Town. He bets less than a third of the pot. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but Daniel loves calling. He loves calling like a moth loves a light bulb. I'm gonna re -range 375. Daniel's clock's running. He calls. And sometimes the light is a bug zapper. That beats me. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I thought you would have re-raised me with that hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the flop. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I called. That plus I had. <laughs> you had something. <laughs> yeah, two pairs. And with that hand, George takes the chip lead. I respect Daniel's game for sure, and I think he respects mine a, a little too. I respect George Danzer's drive for Player of the Year. It's a lot more difficult to win than just winning a tournament because you have to be consistently good over an extended period of time. I have never seen Daniel make a big mistake. I think he's always playing very good. I consider George Danzer a friend. We've had many, many, many dinners together. I really enjoy his company. He's a funny guy. 
I take my hat off to anybody who's won Player of the Year. No, I'm sorry, but I just cannot picture those two out to dinner together. Never happened. <laughs> so you got five time chips? Yeah, of course. Come on, who, do you, who are you playing with? <laughs> you know, these are just souvenirs. They hand what off. happened to me? I lost one somehow. <laughs> Not bad. That's better than you, I thought oh, you'd be yeah, doing. Oh, yeah, the, the when I folded Ace Queen against Sergio. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have folded that one against him. Sergio, come on. We said we'd meet you at the Moon Bar. The lines are now 50 and 100,000. Check three of diamonds for George. Yeah, why not? It's a race. Bay. And a call. Did Daniel just say bay? Pay, as in pay this man his money. Right. I'm just gonna pretend he said bay. Well, George has paired his jack. Goes check, check on the flop. Daniel now has a pair of nines. Daniel now also a resident of Pearsville. George bets. Daniel calls. A six on the river, so George has a lock on this. I think Daniel's gonna like his nine. So he's not gonna mind if George bluffs here. However, if he does bet, it's not gonna be a bluff. The clock's ticking, George. 4.50. And there's the value bet. Surprised Daniel's even thinking about it this long. Daniel loves calling like, hey, you tell me, tag your tweets. Hashtag Shark Cage. Ten seconds, Daniel. I use my first thingy. I use my thingy, I use my thingy. <laughs> it's the first time I did that. I never use time, but I need time. I don't know what the hell to do. I have no clue. Check back an ace and that twice. I was gonna fold, but I'm changing my mind now. 450? Nah, I knew it. I changed my mind. I was gonna fold, and now I'm gonna do the opposite. Oh, Daniel. Got him again. I was gonna fold, and then I changed my mind. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you think too much. You shouldn't do that. Just go with your gut. <laughs> go with the first. As I'm saying it, I'm like, I should. I want to fold, and then I change my mind. Daniel's big on following your first instinct, or in this case, second, maybe even third. You know, whichever one is right. Line 75, 150. George has the chip lead. Queen 10 suited. George elects just to call. Limps in, interesting. Ooh, aces for Daniel. Hello. And that's a raise. Definitely. And George was not limping with the intention of folding. I think we're gonna go heads up to the flop. And once again, Joe Stapleton demonstrates his razor sharp poker mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? George has paired his 10. Daniel's still way ahead with aces. Why clubs and not spades? Boo. Daniel bets. George still can't fold a pair, though. Not on this flop. Sure enough, he calls. A seven on the turn. No, oh, now it's a spade. All in. Daniel bets everything he's got. By moving in on the turn here, Daniel's given himself a chance to get called by a big draw and to maybe even rep a draw himself. George requests more time. That might be a tell. <laughs> Can't see. Daniel playing funny little baby games. You don't know me. I just don't think George can make this call. He's beating no value, and he's not in great shape against a big draw, even. He's got 15 seconds left to make a decision.
Make that five seconds. He faults. I had you beat. Good cards. I'm happy with my fault. Yeah. It was hard, though. I was, the paw was good. I'm like, I'll take it. But if you call, you call. You have to get there. Did you have it pre-flop or you hit the king? I had both. I had what you're supposed to have there. A pair of aces I had. Aces were good, right? George. George. That is the sixth hardest a German has ever laughed. So Daniel has the slight chip lead, but considering how high the blinds are, they're both pretty shallow. Ace 10 for George. Big heads up. All in. Call. All in. Huh? Call. Oh, we got one. I'm happy with my hand. I had suited. I had a king. A lot going on there. You move in, I call this time anyway. <laughs> I was just saying, screw it. Okay. We need a hat. At least one heart on the flop would be good for Daniel. George needs the best hand to hold up to survive. The flop has a five and a ten on it. Oh, we got we got pairs. He's got pairs. We all got pairs. We all got three hearts, three diamonds. Pretty close race. 50-50. <laughs> Not sure the math there works, but you got to believe it first, and Daniel really believes it. The turn card is the three of diamonds. That didn't help me at all. Quite the opposite, frankly. George set for a double up unless Daniel hits a king or a five. Just no diamond. Five of spades! Oh! <laughs> Daniel wins! That was lucky. I just wanted clear that I clearly outplayed you in our all-in pots. Yeah, obviously. Kid Poker is in the final. All right. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That was ugly. Ugly. I just got really lucky. No, it was luck, believe me. <laughs> Poor George. Now I get to go to Monte Carlo. Boom, five on the river and I'm off to Monte Carlo. I was definitely much luckier than he was. <laughs> he sucked out a little. It feels bad to lose, but the worst feeling is when you make a mistake and lose. And then you blame it on yourself and then you're not going to sleep well the next couple of days. But yeah, it, I was a little sad that I didn't win the heads up. My intention every time I sit down at the table is to win. And that's exactly what I did. Obviously, I wouldn't have bet even money. You know, there's six people, but I'm always very confident that I'm going to be the last one standing. So Daniel Negreanu takes the first seat at the final table with five seats still up for grabs. Next time, last season's bridesmaids get a second shot at Shark Cage glory. You want a shot? Mr. Grinda. Not the first hand, Grinda. You're the freaking Grinda. <laughs> These rules are really complicated. Make the cage ready. Are you going to let him show you up like this? I'm sick. I don't want to hear anything. I just want to book. Not the <laughs> up. <laughs> and take on an online qualifier with a special power. I'm from Latvia. My name is Cindy, and I'm psychic. Go. <laughs> I want to stand up and salute you. Well, we got to ask him who's winning the shark cage.